This is Twit. Did the NSA hack into China? As our listeners know, I've often bemoaned the lack of any news of offensive U.S. cyber operations being carried out by the U.S. and aimed at our cyber adversaries, of which we have a few. Just to be clear, I would much prefer that no one was attacking anyone else. Let's just not have any of this. But since we've been buried in reports of Russian, North Korean, and especially China's state-sponsored cyber attacks against the West, I'll admit that it was not unwelcome to encounter the Associated Press headline, quote, China accuses U.S. of cyber attack on National Time Center. That's kind of welcome news, though it, you know, might have been more useful if it's both true and if the U.S. had not been caught, because you want this to be happening, but not to get caught at it. So here's what the Associated Press reported out of Beijing day before yesterday. Uh, they said China on Sunday accused the U.S. National Security Agency of carrying out cyber attacks on its National Time Center following an investigation saying any damage to related facilities could have disrupted network communications, financial systems, and the supply of power. The Ministry of State Security alleged in a WeChat post, because that's the way we do things now, I guess, in a WeChat post that the U.S. agency had exploited vulnerabilities in the messaging services of a foreign mobile phone brand to steal sensitive information from devices of the National Time Service Center's staff in 2022. So three years ago. And so this sounds like apps, insecure apps in some mobile phone was used to infiltrate the, de the devices of staff at the National Time Service Center probably ob obtained their authentication credentials and then began to have some fun. Uh, the, there was no specification as to the phone brand. They wrote the U.S. agency also uses, I, I love this, 42 types of special cyber attack weapons. That's good. You know, we got it. We got a few to target the center's multiple Internet internal network systems and attempted to infiltrate a key timing system between 2023 and 2024. It said it said it had evidence, but did not provide it in the post on WeChat. It said the time center is responsible for generating and distributing China's standard time as you would expect maybe a time center would, in addition to providing timing services to industries such as communications, finance, power, transport, and defense. It had provided guidance to the center to eliminate the risks, meaning the, the, the Ministry of Security provided guidance to, to the time center. It said, quote, the U.S. is accusing others of what it does itself. Yay. Repeatedly hyping up claims about Chinese cyber threats. While they don't seem very hyped up, they seem quite real. You know, we were talking about the consequences of them all the time. Western governments in recent years, they wrote, have alleged hackers linked to the Chinese government have targeted officials, journalists, corporations and others. The ministry's statement could fuel tensions between Washington and Beijing on top of trade, technology and Taiwan issues. The U.S. Embassy, for its part, did not immediately comment. So, okay, as we know, it's certainly true that the West has been moaning about Chinese state-sponsored attacks for a long time. So I'm not unhappy to finally hear Chinese authorities complaining that the NSA has similarly been crawling around inside their networks for many years. As it turns out, it would be better to have, you know, peace maintained for reasons other than mutually assured destruction. But if that's the only way we can have peace in a world with mutually aggressive governments, then at least we should have some peace, even though it might be somewhat less stable than it could be. 
So I, again, I, as I've often said, it would be nice to know that we're giving as much as we're getting and maybe we are. So if I had a, a dream job, Leo, patriotic as I am, I, I, you know, hacking legally, boy, what fun would that be? Hey, I hope you enjoyed these little highlights from our shows. We do a bunch of them and they're all available on the web at twit.tv or right here on YouTube. You can even watch most of them live on YouTube. I'll tell you what, you'll see a link below. And if you would like, and I would like it, like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Security now.